Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking you to Tong Sui. Tong Sui is a chain famous for their coconut puddings, and I think it has a pretty interesting name because Tong Sui refers to Cantonese desserts, specifically the Cantonese desserts served after a dinner course, and it's usually like something like a red bean soup or some sort of sweet soup, and it could also be a pudding. Their most popular item is a whole coconut that still has the coconut meat in there and it's filled with coconut pudding and I'm really looking forward to that because I am really into coconuts. This is already giving me flashbacks to when I went to Hui Lao Shan a few months ago and I tried some of their mango desserts. And that is because both of these places specialize in two different first. Hui Lao Shan specialized in mango whereas Tong Sui specializes in only coconut flavored items. What I am wondering is, is it going to be worth the price? Because I did look it up on Yelp, and on the website, the price has already scared me, and I know some of the people on Yelp complained about the price, however, most of them said it was totally worth it, so I'm here to find out as well. Let's go get some coconut pudding. I'm back from Tong Sui now, and I got a variety of coconut puddings, and I also got their famous coconut ice bomb, which is almost like a coconut smoothie. I'm gonna start off with our coconut ice bomb, and this is a coconut slush sort of, and it's made with the real meat of one coconut, and it's also topped with a little bit of crystal boba and a little bit of toasted coconut. This is incredible. Already haven't tried the coconut puddings and this is already impressing me. I love the flavor of the slush. It has a very fine icy texture, so no large chunks of ice. And you also have little pieces of the fresh soft coconut meat and it's unlike any coconut that you would normally try because it's made with Thai coconut. So it means it has almost like a buttery soft texture versus like a more tough and hard texture of a traditional coconut. The coconut flavor is so rich and intense and creamy. I love that texture of just a creamy thickness. And also, the crystal boba at the bottom is a really nice touch. Compared to regular boba, it has a different texture. It almost has the texture of a soft and chewy jelly, and that means that it doesn't get hard. So even though I refroze this drink when I got home, it's still nice and soft. Oh wow, I cannot wait any longer. I have to try their signature coconut pudding filled inside this giant coconut. Let's just take a peek inside of this coconut. On the inside of the coconut, it's just filled up to the top with the perfect coconut pudding and look at that jiggle. Let's just dig into this coconut now. The texture just already feels so soft, my spoon just effortlessly just slides into this pudding. Oh well, wow. this coconut pudding is just out of this world. The texture is ridiculous. It's so soft and creamy and it literally melts in your mouth. One of the softest puddings slash custards I've ever had before. And I really like that there's no added sugar in this because you get a really natural sweetness and it's not overly sweet. All that sweetness is just coming from the natural coconut water as well as the coconut meat. And I think the variety of coconut is really unique. That Thai coconut is really what makes this a special dessert because if you had a regular coconut, there would be some grit and graininess, but not with this, just buttery soft and so rich and creamy. The presentation of this is great as well. Not only is the pudding inside of a giant coconut, but I also really appreciate the branding on the outside because they have their logo burned onto the outside of the coconut. There's still coconut meat inside of this coconut, so let's get a little bit of that to taste. The coconut meat is so good as well. It's a little bit firmer than the pudding, but it really has that same buttery soft texture and seriously, one of the best coconuts I've ever had. I totally forgot that this also comes with their homemade toasted coconut, so let's get a taste of that.
Wow, that toasted coconut really makes this even better because it really adds a nice crunch. It's not dry at all and it almost has the texture of deep fried coconut because it's so crunchy and crispy. Mmm, oh yeah. So, so good. I literally can't get enough of this. This might be one of the only times that I'm sad to move on to the next item because that whole coconut with the coconut pudding inside, that was just fantastic and fabulous. This is the taro coconut pudding, which is coconut pudding topped with taro paste. And I love my taro. This is a match made in heaven. You have the delicate coconut pudding and you have a luxurious, rich taro paste on top. And it's so rich and flavorful. And the taro almost has a sweet potato-y flavor. And I think that pairs really well with the flavor of the coconut. Now for the mango mochi pudding. And I'm curious about this because as I broke into this, the mochi feels very soft and stretchy. So I'm curious how that's gonna go with the coconut pudding as well as the fresh mango. This might be even better than the taro pudding, and I think that's just because of all the different flavors. You have the mochi on top, and it has a very subtle flavor. You don't taste it too much, but it really adds a nice texture. It's very soft, almost liquidy, but it still provides a nice chew, and it really goes great with the textures. And you have a bite of the juicy mangoes, which I really enjoy. They're nice and sweet while also providing a bit of tartness, but it's not too overwhelming. And to finish it off, you have the rich coconut flavor. They all just pair together so nicely. Now for the strawberry fruit coconut pudding. And I'm curious to see how this is. I have to admit, the texture seems a little bit odd. It seems like it's a little bit watery. And I think that's just because of the fresh sliced up strawberries on top. But it smells really nice. It almost smells like a strawberry jam or strawberry preserves. I do have to admit, I didn't have the highest expectations for this because I do enjoy strawberry things, but I don't love them. But this, I do love because it just goes so great with the pudding. You really taste the strawberry. It's not overly strong and it's a very light and natural flavor. So it goes really good with the coconut. It doesn't overwhelm it in any way. Now for the Earl Grey tea and coconut pudding. And I'm curious to see how this is gonna be because I do love Earl Grey tea, but I know it's a very overpowering flavor. So I hope that I'm still able to taste some of the coconut with this. Ooh, that is strong and flavorful. You really taste all the flavors. They're all great tea. You get a nice sort of mild fragrance at the beginning, a little bit of bitterness, but you just hit with a rich wave of coconutty flavor. And then at the end, you're hit again, almost with like a perfume strength flavor of the Earl Grey tea. It's so fragrant and the ending is not bitter at all. It's just almost flowery and very intense. This pudding will really take your tongue on a roller coaster ride of all sorts of different flavors and excitement. This is our last pudding to try. This is the rose and peach gum flavored coconut pudding. It smells really intense. It literally smells like you just walked into a rose garden and I've never heard of peach gum before and apparently it's the sap from the peach tree and it's used in a lot of traditional Chinese desserts. I'm really looking forward to this bite. I don't really know what it's gonna taste like but I do know it will taste like rose and rose is one of my favorite flavors in dessert. This is really good. Honestly, for me, any peach flavor thing is amazing, but it's not quite as intense as I hoped it would be. The flavor is quite mild and fragrant, but you still get it there. And I also like that they add some rose petals on top, which really just brings out a teeny bit more flavor. The peach gum is really unique. It has a very soft texture, almost like a soft peach jelly. And the flavor almost reminds me of a very mild peach jam. And it goes great with the coconut pudding. All the flavors go together pretty nicely. However, I do think it could use a little bit of more rose intensity. Now I'm gonna be ranking all the puddings I tried at Tongsui in order of my preference. And I gotta say as well, the drink was great. Definitely get that. But the reason I'm not placing it in this ranking is because it's not one of the puddings. In sixth place for me was the strawberry pudding, and the only reason it was in sixth place is because one, the texture was a bit watery, which didn't really bother me because a lot of the other puddings were a little bit on the watery side. It's just, just because of the ingredients they used. For example, it uses fresh strawberries, so it's a little bit more watery and moist. 
but the reason it ranked a little bit lower is just because some of the other flavors I just prefer over the taste of strawberry. Fifth place goes to the taro pudding, and I do have a small criticism, and that's just because I feel like there was a little bit too much of the taro paste. It was borderline overwhelming for the pudding, and it was quite on the rich side. However, it's still really good, and if you like taro, definitely a must try. I certainly enjoyed it. Fourth place goes to the rose and peach gum pudding, and I thought that one was delicious. It just needs a little bit more rose flavor. Third place goes to the mango mochi coconut pudding. This was just so unique and what I really loved about this one was the freshness of the mango and the texture of the mochi. Second place goes to the earl grey coconut pudding and this one really blew me away. Just the flavor was so unique. They really get the intensity and all the strength of almost like one tea bag of earl grey tea in one bite without too much bitterness and also with a really intense coconutty flavor. And of course, you already knew it from the very beginning, my favorite item is their most popular item, the signature item, the giant coconut, filled with coconut pudding. In my opinion, this has the best value because it's around the same price as the other puddings. And not only do you have pudding in here, but you have the meat of the coconut as well. I really do urge all of you to look up Tong Sui and see if you can find a location that's relatively nearby you. Personally, I think I would be willing to try even an hour to try them out because they're that good. And after trying Tong Sui for the first time, I have made the conclusion, yes, 100% yes, it is worth the price, especially if you get the large coconut filled with the coconut pudding, just because it's such a large portion. You're definitely getting your money's worth, and sure, it's pricey, but the taste is just unbeatable. And yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe. My next goal is to reach 2,000 subscribers, so make sure to share my channel with all your future friends because my goal is just to share my passion for food with as many different people as possible. And make sure if you enjoyed the video to give it a like as well, and I'll see you in the next one.